the NASCAR Cup Series Championship won by this man who appeared on this show uh, as a more, if you will, fresh-faced individual last in 2016 when he was barely 21 years old. Now he's a 25-year-old Cup champion. He is Chase Elliott. How are you? How you been, Chase? Man, I've been good. Uh, I've been, been, been a crazy couple of weeks and really been enjoying uh enjoying everything that's coming along with this what's your first racing memory chase elliott what's your first racing memory and after me i started racing go-karts when i was eight ish um and i I remember some some of those races actually um so yeah and been been, uh, going at it for a while i'm sure absolutely and now you know here you are we're showing a picture of you in your daddy's arms as a little baby uh, now here you are carrying on your your family's tradition uh, of winning the the big race, winning a championship. Uh, what does it mean to you, Chase? Now that you have won it, yeah, it's it's, it's honestly just incredible, and and I think a lot of it, you know, I really haven't had any time to myself <laughs> um, since Sunday, um, so I'm really looking forward to just sitting down and and reflecting on everything. It's obviously a a really big deal and um you know something that i, I really am going to enjoy and, and embrace and uh don't you know i wish our off season was longer and you could you could enjoy it longer but just trying to uh, recognize everything that that um it represents well i mean i don't mean to intrude in a time uh, where you're you're looking forward to being alone so let's act like it's just it's just you and i and not uh, a nationally televised streaming and radio audience um, the fact that you have, in fact, won. I mean, after you, you know, you started a, your career 0 for 98, uh, and your family name uh, also attached to, to all of this. Uh, what are you thinking? Like, let's just linger on this for a moment, if you don't mind. Yeah, for Chase. sure. I think you know uh, a, a big one. I I've thought about some over the past couple of weeks is really just the road to that first win was, was long and, and kind of bumpy uh, at, at certain points in time, had some great opportunities and wasn't able to get it done. So you know, I think some of those tough days and some of those tough losses that were a part of that journey, I really feel like helped sculpt and, and help prepare our team and, and myself for, for big moments like this this weekend and, and last weekend. So, uh, you know, when you're living those, those tough days, you you know, it's no fun. But to see the big picture now, obviously, all that stuff happened for a reason. What was it like celebrating uh, with your dad in Victory Lane, Chase? What was that yeah, like? Yeah, so, so great to have you and my mom there. You know, they've been a, a massive piece of my racing career. Obviously, wouldn't be where I'm at without them and the sacrifice they've, they've made. So, uh, yeah, grateful they were there and, and you know, we could enjoy that as a family. Is there anything you could share the conversations again? Yeah, just a lot of, of excitement, to be honest. I mean, it's just a lot of emotion and, and, you know, like I said, a lot of, a lot of sacrifices have been made over the years and they've, uh, you know, played a, a huge role in this. So yeah, just a lot of excitement shared for sure. Chase Elliott here on the Rich Eisen show. The fact again, that this was done in a pandemic too, uh, has got to be, something uh for your entire crew um a a reason to celebrate obviously we're always looking for anything positive in this crazy world right now um what were the challenges that you and your crew went through this year to get all this chase yeah you know we just kind of kept fighting you know i I think about our season and and it was just a you could write a novel i feel like on our year uh started off really good felt like we started the year as, as strong as we've ever been um, in my cup career. And I was really, really excited. Had the COVID break and, and came back, and I feel like we kept that momentum. Everything was going just as good. And then, you know, about a month after we got back from the COVID break, it seemed like guys were starting to get better, and, and we had kind of fallen off some. And we spent, I thought, the majority of the summer months struggling uh, not running very good and just wasn't really hitting on anything. And then about the time the the playoffs started, we, you know, just got better fundamentally, you know, nothing over the top, but just, you know, small improvements in different areas on the car and, and added up to be performance here, performance there, and had a couple good tracks um, for us with, you know, with, with Martinsville 
and and the Roval, you know, having two good races, had a little momentum and had a had a shot at it. So it then, just uh, everything worked out. And then obviously, you know, championship week comes and the race comes, and two pre race inspections don't go your way. You got to start from the back. What was that challenge like for you? Yeah, you know, I I, I think having a having your car balanced well and and having a, a a good team around obviously can make up for for starting in the back. I mean, the good news was we still kept our pit pick, and so we had our, our pit stall um, as if we qualified first, which, you know, is a big deal. And I, I really felt like that, that pit selection was probably more important than the starting position itself. So just uh, went to work, and luckily the car was in the ballpark, and we could fine-tune on it, and we did, and hit it right for the last run. So can't ask for much more than that chase elliott here on the rich eisen show just a couple of weeks shy of your 25th birthday how many how many of these are you think you can win let's call it, let's go let's start counting future here <laughs> come on now i'm gonna enjoy the heck out of this one man I, i'm not even thinking about next year right now but yeah it's uh you know looking forward to the holidays and um you know thanksgiving and, and spend a lot of time around family and friends so enjoying it man i'm not uh I'm not getting ahead of myself today. All right. Who did you hear from after winning it all, Chase? That uh, that might be of interest to people out there. Curious. Yeah. Who, Drop who some did names. I hear from? Um, you know, it, it's uh, – I, I don't know. I mean, I don't have – I don't want to name Come on. names in particular. Come but... on, Chase. There is no I in Chase. There may be one in Elliot, though. Yeah. So, come on now. That's, come on. That's tough. But, you know, I, I, to come home to what I came home to yesterday was really cool and – um, got to share a, a picture from the weekend on on Instagram and a lot of great support on there too. So, man, it's uh, you don't realize how many people pay attention to this stuff until until something like this happens. So, really cool, really cool, and grateful for uh, a lot of great support. Anybody from racing history? Anybody from other sports who reached out to you? Yeah, you know one one that sticks out. I'll share Daniel Ricardo reached out. He's an F one driver. Um, you know, and, and that's a, a discipline that I, I certainly respect and look up to. So from another area, uh, that, that's a cool one I'll share with you guys. And he, uh, you know, was kind enough to, to say congrats. Now, uh, you know, obviously, your relationship with Jimmy Johnson we know about, but what 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 were his two cents on you you winning as he's heading off into the uh, into retirement here? Yeah, you know, he. I, the cool thing about Jimmy is, you know, he just heck. I, I feel like he was as a big of a fan uh, and, and pulling for us harder than anybody. And, you know, you don't see that much out of competitors. And he's just one of those guys that's just genuine. And, you know, he, he was genuinely happy for us. And you don't you don't get that every day in a, in a person like him. So just a good dude. And, and he was uh, just so, so excited for us and couldn't ask for anything more. How heavy is the trophy? The trophy's heavy. The trophy is heavy. Mm-hmm. Um we were doing pictures and stuff, and my little arms, I need to get in the gym, I guess. I had to take some breaks. <laughs> well, I mean, so this is something that could definitely work on your, your traps, you know, uh, your, serious, your tries. Yeah. No, it's, it's a serious piece of uh, piece of metal. Yeah. I mean, so uh, did it get its own seat on the way home? Where is it? Well, you know, I don't really know where that thing went because – Oh, come on. I, it didn't come home with me, so I'm going to have to get it here at some point. I, I – I guess they have to box it up, and you know they don't want to, they don't want to get broke. So yeah, well, well that's probably good. Let's not break it. Well, it looks like something you could sleep in, honestly. Like you could tuck yeah. yourself in the no, top. It's of that. nice. It's nice. Oh my gosh! So right now, you Chase Elliott do not know the whereabouts of this trophy right now as you and I are talking. It's somewhere between North Carolina and Phoenix, somewhere between the two. All I right. would say. A man did it ask? Do you have a tracking number? I don't have a tracking number, but I'm, I trust, your, your I people? trust the, uh, the the people at NASCAR because I think they're the last ones that had it. So <laughs> I, I don't think they're going to lose that. They've toted it around all year. Surely they ain't going to lose it now. All right. Very good. Hey, Chase, like I said, uh, you were here. Uh, I know we spoke earlier this year on the phone, but uh, you were here as a 20-year-old man um, about four years ago. Um, we're showing a photograph um, of it right now. I look different. You don't. But that's okay. That's what's aging in this world really is. Uh, what What if I told you on that day as you're walking out the door you're going to be the 2020 champion? What would you have said to that? I probably said you're crazy. Um, man, I just think about 
the beginning of this road here in Cup and, and a lot of the things that have come along with it. You know, I mentioned some of those tough losses and, and days leaving the racetrack ready to go crawl in a hole. And, you know, to have things kind of work out this year really is, is nothing short of amazing. And, um, you know, just grateful for all the all the lessons I've learned over these first five years. So, right. yeah. Things, things can change uh, fast, I suppose. No doubt about it. And uh, I guess last one for you, is it fair to use the word relief as an emotion you're feeling? Right yeah, now? I think there's a sense of that for sure. You know, I've never left, I've never ended a NASCAR season and been like just fulfilled because you're always wanting more, right? You're always wanting to be the guy. So if you're not the guy, you're not going to be fulfilled. So yeah, I'm just uh, so proud and and can enjoy a winter knowing that there was nothing else we could do this year and uh that's all you can ever dream of entering an off season with well uh, congratulations man there's only three father-son combinations to uh, both win a nascar championship lee and richard petty ned and dale jarrett and now you and your dad the elliots congrats Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. You got it. You take care, Chase. That's Chase Elliott right here on The Rich Eisen Show.